Welcome to another itcolgasac.co.uk uh, tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at family safety with inside Windows 8. Uh, family safety was sort of started with Windows 7 as a way to control uh, access to certain programs and internet areas to keep your kids or other vulnerable people safe when using your computer. Uh, it's been expanded upon with Windows 8 and we're going to look at it today. Uh, first off, it's a good idea to have separate um, user accounts for all the people that use your computer. That way you can control what people see and use, as opposed to having one uh, one user account that everyone uses. So first off, we'll just go into Control Panel. And we see User Accounts and Family Safety and we can do set up family safety for any user. Now if you've already got a account you want to set up family safety for you can just select it or if you want to create a new account to use it with obviously click create new and follow the wizard to set up a new user account. Uh, you can't run family safety uh, on an administrator account it has to be on a standard account and on that note uh, an account for say a child is better off having as a standard user account because that way because they're not an administrator they can't access certain settings and change things so you've got far more control over the account and they can't accidentally break your computer either so we'll just select the child one account that we want to set up family safety for and here we can turn it on so family safety goes on There's also activity reporting which you can choose to have off or on uh, and this will collect information on what uh, your child or person using this user account is doing and we can view activity reports you can see the websites that they're visiting block pages that they've tried to visit and how long they've been logged on for on certain days of the week and the most used application in games so you can build up quite a good idea of what your uh, child is doing with the computer when they're on it and I'll just go back So. For family safety we've got uh, four main sections, web filtering, time limits, the window store and game restrictions and app restrictions and we'll go through each of those now. So starting with web filtering, child one can use all websites or child one can only use the websites that I allow. Now if we set it to that, allow a block websites by rating and content types so we can set a filtering level. and we have several settings here firstly there's the allow list only which I can only view websites on a list that I've created and all adult sites are blocked and here it's dead easy to enter into a website and to allow that website So allowing the BBC website. There, simple. Let's go back. Uh, design for children is an automatic setting to view websites on the allow list that are designed for children. Again, adult sites are blocked. I'll just make this box a little bigger. Uh, general interest. Uh, again, websites on the allow list and websites designed for children and websites from the general interest category. Uh, online communication which is the default setting which is any websites on the allow list that you've created as well as websites designed for children and websites from the general interest social networking and web chat and web mail categories again adult sites are blocked then we have the warn on adult sites where a child can view all websites receives a warning when accessing uh, suspected adult content uh, also a good setting I think is block file downloads I'll turn that on and we're going to set the account to general interest. Now block file downloads will stop downloads being made off of websites. This is quite good. I know plenty of people that have had uh, kids and they've filled their computer with random game downloads and things but generally from websites that also install uh, malware or adware so the computer slows down. So blocking file downloads just allows you to be the only person making downloads so you can verify that what you're putting on the computer is something that you want to be there. So 
so that's the web blocking settings go back to user settings time limits time limits is a good feature you can set the number of hours that child 1 this user account can use the PC per day and set the time of day when child 1 can use the computer so we can set a time allowance child 1 by default can use the PC all day but maybe we don't want them to so weekdays Monday to Friday and we can set a number of hours that they'll have to use the computer for so say Monday to Friday they need to do their homework and they can do a little bit of gaming maybe we'll give them two hours and then weekend sat and Sunday maybe they can use the computer a little longer maybe we'll give them a total of four hours so we'll set the time allowance and then we have curfew option when can charge one use the PC Child 1 can use PC all day, Child 1 can PC uh, during the time ranges that I allow. And then here we have white, it's allowed, or blue, it's blocked. So, we're already letting the child use the computer for two hours uh, Monday to Friday, but maybe actually on Mondays we don't want them to use the computer at all. So we're just going to completely block out Mondays. Notice that each box is two halves, so you can set up an allow and block list for half hour slots. Now Tuesdays, again, uh, we don't want the child to use the computer in the wee hours of the morning, or before school. But then we want them to do their homework so they can have a half hour block from 5 to 5.30 and then maybe an hour and a half after dinner before bed. So that you can see there is dead simple. You can assign when your child can use the computer and for how long. So between that and time allowance you can really restrict uh, when you want your computer to be in use. Now, Windows Store and Game Restrictions. Again, uh, Windows Store obviously is a new feature with Windows 8 uh, and really gives access to a lot of games and other uh, programs that your child may want to use and obviously some of those programs may not be suitable for your child. So, by default, again, Child 1 can play all games and view all Windows Store apps or Child 1 can only use certain games and Windows Store apps that I allow. And we'll select that option. Allow a block games uh, within the Windows Store by rating. And we'll set game with I don't know at this point how much uh, ratings are used within the Windows Store. Presumably if something's unrated it could be downloaded and used uh, by anybody. But hopefully most publishers do assign a rating so that this feature works well. Anyone in the UK will be familiar with this rating system, 18s, 16s, the 15s, the 12s, the PGs right down to the universal. Uh, again this setting is clearly set up here with the UK British rating system. I presume if you're viewing this page uh, in another country you'll be viewing your country's own rating system and so our child one is say 15 so we don't want them to be viewing content designed for 16 year olds and we definitely don't want them to be viewing content designed for 18s and adults so we'll just set the 15 box so that they can view uh, and use any content that's been created for 15 year olds 
or anyone younger than that age. Now we can also go to allow or block games directly. No games currently installed on this system, but if there were, we'd be able to use this page to assign that game uh, use or not use for the user. Last three is app restrictions, which is a lot similar to the store and game restrictions, but you're restricting what applications can be used. Again, by default, child one can use all apps, and we can set it so they only use the apps that I allow. The computer at this point will scan itself for any apps that are currently installed, because this is a new build. We've only got the stuff that comes by default. By default on this setting, nothing can be used, and we have to tick the box to allow this program to be used. And you can tickle and untickle. So once that's all set up, you're ready to go. And your child won't be able to use the computer when you want access the web content that you want them to see and access the games and apps that you want them to be able to use and to make sure that they're behaving you can always view the activity report to make sure they've done uh, as you set them to so that's uh, family safety I think a very good feature of Windows 8